Well, this is going to be one of those jobs where it's kind of out of, or out of the ordinary enough that it's interesting, but yet still kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but this is like a plastered dome and I've got to install that in the foyer. And then there's a crown detail that goes all the way around it. And it's, it's like a plaster of Paris molded crown that will, uh, I'll install and then a light rope light goes around it and everything so i've got the dome in here and i've got it on a couple of uh, rolling cart deals and it was kind of a challenge because this would have been way way easier to install before drywall um, because you you would just install it right up to the framing and then whenever they're hanging their drywall they could have just went around that with a roto zip and just you know traced it perfectly and it would have been no big deal but it it was not shipped in time it was not here at the time of drywall so the only way to get this finished was to go ahead and drywall the whole thing so now i've got to install it up in this foyer tray whenever drywall's already been uh installed I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but this tray is framed up here and I've got four nails marking the center in each location of the tray. So then I transferred the center line to the floor going this way as well as this way. So I've got my center point and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move this dome over here. I'm going to put it on the floor. I'm going to trace around it and then I'm going to start cutting out drywall and adding framing as needed. don't carry a Pika pencil you should obviously I love a uh, nine millimeter for marking um, cut lines on trim but whenever you need a fatter lead that's not gonna break these Pika pencils are really ideal finished up my sales pitch on that Pika pencil I ran out of lead. I'm gonna use this quarter inch plywood as a template to know where to cut out my drywall but the question is how am I gonna get it up on the ceiling exactly where it needs to go to know where to cut. So what I'm gonna do is take my drill with an eighth inch bit and I'm gonna drill a hole there, there, and there. I'm gonna use my laser and transfer that exact point onto the ceiling and then I can use the holes that are in my template uh, to align with the holes that are in the ceiling then and it should be exactly where it's supposed to be.
because I am going to use this same piece for both sides, I'm going to go ahead and circle the holes on the underside of this piece of plywood to, so that I know that the holes on this first set are for this side because now I'm going to have to put the template under the other side and drill three other holes. That way I can align it on that side also. I've got the plywood template underneath here positioned exactly where it needs to go. So now I'm going to drill another set of holes. There's my template. I've got my laser set up right here and the hole from where I drilled is right there. So I'm going to take my laser, put those intersection, inter intersecting points right on that hole and then I'll transfer the mark up onto the ceiling and that'll help me align my template. Marks are now transferred from the floor up to the ceiling so that the template will align. Now the question is, how do I get that template up on the ceiling easily? And thankfully, I just installed the attic ladder out here in the garage this morning. So I have my drywall lift right there. So I'm gonna bring that in and then just lift that template piece up and it should be pretty easy to get that in place. You know, I work alone in big houses. You would think that I would be able to keep track of my stuff, but two things I always never cease to be able to find. Number one, the dustpan. I spend so much time trying to find my dustpan. Number two, ladders. I just searched the entire house for this ladder then I realized it was out in the garage. Now I've got my uh, line traced from the floor, transferred up onto the ceiling. Question is, what tool do I want to use to cut all that drywall? I think I'm gonna opt for the good old reciprocating saw and might have to use the oscillating multi-tool a little bit also, but I think this guy is gonna be the quickest. Well, it didn't take very long for me to create some problemas. So the this gets like a rope light and the electrician had his wire stubbed out right here, which is right where my reciprocating saw wanted to go. So hopefully he's got some loops up there we can get access to, I'm sure he does. Well, got all that drywall tore off of there. Got a couple joists taken out. Looks like the framing is looking really nice where they put in these 45 degree pieces. Looks perfect. 
So I got a little trimming to do with the multi-tool tomorrow where I couldn't cut it with the Sawzall because there's framing above it, but everything's looking good to proceed forward and get my winch up there tomorrow and lift this thing up into place. Should be fun.